सब्सक्राइब कीजिए धे आई चैनल को और बेल आइकन को दबाइए लेटेस्ट वीडियो सबसे पहले देखने के लिए The recent visit of the two American astronauts to the International Space Station has been the talk of the town. This is not the first visit of human beings to the space station, but this visit gathered attention and created excitement among people around the globe because of the agency that facilitated the trip. This was the first time that the astronauts were sent to space in a spaceship built and launched privately this is definitely the beginning of a new era in space exploration in today's dns we will talk about the space mission in detail sunday night marked the beginning of a new era in field of space exploration two astronauts robert benkin and douglas hurley flew on board a spaceship named crew dragon built by spacex The rocket that named Falcon 9 carrying the spaceship into the orbit was also made by SpaceX. The mission was called Demo 2 in keeping with the fact that it was still only a test flight which if successful would lead to more missions in the coming months. The SpaceX Falcon 9 rocket carrying the Crew Dragon spacecraft lifted off from launch complex 39A at the Kennedy Space Center. This is the same launch pad from which Saturn V rocket from the Apollo 11 mission had taken off carrying the first humans to the moon. Douglas Hurley, aged 53, has been an astronaut of NASA since 2000. after serving as a fighter pilot and test pilot in the US Marine Corps he has completed two space flights STS-127 and STS-136 during this mission hurley will be handling launch landing and recovery of the spacecraft veteran air force test pilot bob benkin became an astronaut in the year july 2000 on this mission activities such as rendezvous docking and undocking are the responsibility of benkin he has completed two space shuttle flights in the year 2008 and february 2010 and performed three space walks during each mission once they successfully are docked they will board the international space station and become members of expedition 63 crew and will perform test on the crew dragon and conduct research SpaceX has become the first ever private company to launch human beings into orbit. SpaceX company has been founded by Elon Musk, who heads Tesla Motors as well. The launch was also significant as the space flight took off after a long gap since the year 2011, as it was the first flight of its astronauts on an American spaceship launched on American soil after 9 years. Both the astronauts will be spending a duration of around 4 months at the International Space Station. The astronauts will be first orbiting around Earth for 19 hours and also occasionally fly it manually to share their experiences with other future crew members. With the launch of privately developed spaceships, it has opened doors for NASA to concentrate on deep space exploration work more vigorously towards taking humans to moons and Mars. The involvement of the private industry in the space sector is nothing new but all over the world work of space agencies is being done in collaboration with private companies there are hundreds of private companies who are engaged in building commercial satellites for their clients while there are a lot many private companies operating in space sector in the united states most of them collaborate with the indian space research organization isro in building and fabricating the components that go into making rockets and satellites this mission that took off on sunday portrays the fact that the space research and exploration is now a much more collaborative enterprise than earlier Space agencies of different countries are not just sharing data and resources but increasingly getting together to carry out joint missions as well. Now, with the first step taken by a private company SpaceX for ferrying humans to space, more private investors are expected to infuse fresh investments and also technological innovation that will benefit everyone. 
This will help in carrying out more research in terms of space exploration and ferrying humans to moon and other planets without having to spend a large amount. Also, inviting private companies is expected to potentially bring down the cost of space travel.